Hello everyone, brothers and sisters. Where do I even begin? You know, I don't know if this is worth my time or even worth my energy, but once again, Paul Kidd, the Doc Kidd, is up to his antics, and he is a perpetual liar. I don't even know where to begin this video. I am just uh, amazed at the things I see on YouTube. But Paul Kidd uh, has done a video, two videos, one against Pastor Paul Begley and the other against Anita Fuentes. Now, if you follow my channel and you have followed me for any length of time, I don't see eye to eye with Pastor Paul Begley. We've had our um, uh, conflict of interest going back and forth. I don't follow the same theology uh, along with Anita Flint, uh, Fluentes. But to come on YouTube and just to perpetuate this nonsense, this rhetoric, these antics, these lies, these perpetual, made-up, phony lies. I've had my dealings, I've had been under attack from Paul Kidd for how many years now? Over and over. And in this video against Paul Begley, we're going to go there in a moment, uh, he claims that he has an insider, an informant, but he doesn't have the technology. Maybe he needs some Paul Begley technology. What? Maybe he needs some Paul Begley technology. Uh, he doesn't have the technology to have them like in a shadow and to um, disguise their voice. So he's got to read the commentary. Uh, he claims that this informant uh, works for Pastor Paul Begley. And this is the husband of the informant that has come forward. It's a husband and wife. Uh, and the wife works for Anita Fuentes. This is so, this is almost like a comedy hour, a comedy show. Um, and they don't, uh, they don't live in the same geographical area. So one works for Anita Fuentes because, you know, they need to make some money. They know it's wrong, but they need to make some money. Talking about Paul Begley and him being a millionaire, it's just nonsense. But if you watch these videos, we're gonna go there in a second, you will see that when he is, re it's all scripted. When he's reading what these alleged, uh, um, what do you call them, uh, uh, informants are, are giving him the, the information He's using his own slang. Like, uh, for example, in this uh, two uh, exclusive interviews released by Paul Kidd. Uh, but it was written by him. You can tell it was written by Kidd himself. And it's so obvious. It is so obvious. It's almost hysterical. Uh, they talk exactly the same way that he, he talks. And they're using the same words and phrases that Paul Kidd uses all the time. Words like clown, like minion, like Queen of Sheba. And, you know, and, and it's the same thing. And, it's, and he's going to deny it. Uh, you can't uh, confront him. Uh, he'll deny it. Just the same way that he denied putting out that video where it was him. It was his voice against me, this Pastor Brave video. So without... Uh, Oh my goodness, without further ado, let's go to that video now. Let's go to both videos. All right, first he uh, puts out this video today. One of two. First, uh, an attack against uh, Pastor Paul Begley. Must watch. Here, false teacher Paul Begley busted by a whistleblower. This will shock you. It shocked me because the whistleblower, uh, there's no doubt. There's no question. It's none other than Paul Kidd himself. Here he claims that uh, there is an informant, a whistleblower, that works for Paul Begley. Paul Begley is a multimillionaire, and uh, this guy is taking the money. He needs the money, so he doesn't want uh, Paul Begley to catch on. He doesn't want to be discovered. Now, now, if this was true, and just from this video alone, I'm sure Paul Begley is having a good sit back, having a laugh at this. Um, I'm sure Paul Begley, if he did have a, uh, 
someone working for him, feeding him false news stories, and uh, uh, he would know who who he's who's on his payroll, right? No one's on his payroll. It's all a figment. It's all deranged figment of all kids' imagination. And then he's got in this video, I'll put the link to this video and then Anita Valente's video below for you, if you can bear to watch. Um, the husband, it's a husband and wife. The husband works for Paul Begley, and Paul Begley's got some uh, big uh, uh, intel, intelligence uh, uh, personnel that he went to and discovered that uh, Mike from around the world is really... BP Earthwatch, I, I, you know, it, it's things that he's pulling off of other people's YouTube videos. I, I don't mean to laugh because this is sad. Uh, Paul Kidd needs a lot of prayer. But he's using, he's asking the question. Again, he can't, uh, he doesn't have the technology, he doesn't have Paul Bailey technology, uh, evidently. So he can't uh, put the person in a shadow and he doesn't have the technology to. Uh, distort their voice so they wouldn't come on camera of course they, they can't come on camera unless uh he would hire someone why don't you, Paul, why don't you just hire some uh kid off the street to come in or something uh, to make it more real because this is just uh, nonsense but um he's asking a question and it's scripted you can tell he is the one reading the answer as if he was this uh, uh, whistleblower, the husband. Uh, and he's using his own uh, words like minion and and clown and with uh, Anita Valente as uh, the queen of Sheba as if he was the whistleblower. Now the, the wife is on the other side of the country over in California and they're married but they, they're, they're miles and miles and miles apart. One works for Paul Begley, the wife works for Nico Flamantes. Oh my goodness. And it's the same uh, rhetoric. Uh, Paul Kidd needs a lot of prayer. This is not uh, of God. Uh, this is just, uh, uh, this is just pathetic. In closing, all I can say is this is just despicable. It's one thing to call out someone, to bring them before the church, and to openly rebuke them uh, for being a false teacher or uh, getting a false prophecy. But there are ways to do this. It is wrong. It goes against the teachings of Jesus. It goes against God, a holy God, to fabricate what has been done in these videos by Paul Kidd to use lies? And that's what it is. He's a perpetual liar. Lies and deceptive tricks to say he's got a whistleblower when you know, I mean, you know that there is no whistleblower, that it is him playing both parts. He's playing the part of the husband, whistleblower. He's playing the part of the wife. He's asking a question and he's answering it. It's it's apparent. That is not of God. That is not of the church. That is not of the church of Jesus Christ today. And it goes against everything that is good and everything that is holy. Am I defending Paul Bagley and Anita Fuentes? In a sense, yes, I am. Because maybe I don't agree with Paul Bagley and the things that he does and his theology. Um, and maybe I don't agree with Anita Fuentes and her antics either. But I'm not going to come out of here and fabricate lies and deceive the flock and deceive the masses. That's what Paul Kidd is doing. He needs to be taken off of YouTube. That's all I can say. He is doing nothing but damage. He needs prayer. He's a very disturbed individual. He needs a lot of prayer. We need to pray for Paul Kidd. One good thing did come out of all of this. Because one thing with Paul Kidd, whatever he accuses others of doing, it's what he's guilty of himself. So now we know, because you know he doesn't have that many thousands and thousands of subscribers and that many views to his videos. 
he's like Obama. Not very many people like him or like uh, his way. He's mean. He's prideful. He's arrogant. Uh, and he needs a lot of prayer. So one good thing did come out of this. We know, as he was trying to say, how Paul Begley doesn't really have all of these thousands and thousands of subscribers to his channel because he bought them. They're paid subscriptions. That's what you're doing, Paul Kidd. We need to pray for Paul Kidd. Talk about a whistleblower. Now, this is not fabricated. I've had someone come forward uh, who is questioning uh, Doc Kidd's, Paul Kidd's military background. And he is a United States Marine recon. And he's got some questions for Paul Kidd. And he wants uh, me to ask that on my channel regarding his military uh, service to this country. Being in the Marine Corps 20 years in the Marines recon. And this is from a veteran, a longtime veteran, a Marine, a United States Marine recon. Something isn't adding up. Stay tuned for that.